and minimise proximity effect for the clearest and most natural sound reproduction. The widest dynamic range, ultra sensitivity and the lowest self noise will capture the slightest nuances and subtle sound details. This range includes both vocal and instrument microphones for demanding professional live performances and studio recording. The KSM series of microphones is the premium range from Shure. KSM microphones are targeted towards professional artists and engineers for the most demanding applications. All of the KSM microphones have full frequency response and minimised proximity effect for the clearest and most natural sound reproduction. The widest dynamic range, ultra sensitivity and the lowest self noise will capture the slightest nuances and subtle sound details. This range includes both vocal and instrument microphones for demanding professional live performances and studio recording. The KSM series of microphones is the premium range from Shure. KSM microphones are targeted towards professional artists and engineers for the most demanding applications. All of the KSM microphones have full frequency response and minimised proximity effect for the clearest and most natural sound reproduction. The widest dynamic range, ultra sensitivity and the lowest self noise will capture the slightest nuances and subtle sound details. This range includes both vocal and instrument microphones for demanding professional live performances and studio recording. The KSM series of microphones is the premium range from Shure. KSM microphones are targeted towards professional artists and engineers for the most demanding applications. All of the KSM microphones have full frequency response and minimised proximity effect for the clearest and most natural sound reproduction. The widest dynamic range, ultra sensitivity and the lowest self noise will capture the slightest nuances and subtle sound details. This range includes both vocal and instrument microphones for demanding professional live performances and studio recording. The KSM series of microphones is the premium range from Shure. KSM microphones are targeted towards professional also increases airflow and energy transfer to the drum shell and resonant head. The STEP, Remo's revolutionary STEP design has been around since the early 70s. The STEP keeps the film flat and level allowing the drum head adequate seating and clearance to adjust itself to various counter hoops and bearing edges. The adjusting of the STEP can be heard in the signature cracking sound heard while tuning. The film. Remo's film of choice is DuPont Mylar. DuPont Mylar has set the industry standard for all polyester films worldwide. The surface tension of the film increases the tuning range and acts as a springboard for drum set rebound. The hoop. Remo drum heads are constructed with high grade aluminum for maximum rigidity and stability.
Hey, my name is Jonathan K. Kakavaginio. Welcome to Live Room with Virtual Sound, powered by Divine Media and also His Way Music. I know you've been waiting for today, and I'm telling you, just, just share this with your friends. Today's going to be amazing. We're going to have fun. We're going to, uh, we're going to learn. We're going to enjoy ourselves. So please don't go anywhere. Just, just bundle up. Today's going to be amazing. God bless you all. Stay tuned. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be back with you right now. Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. The Shure SM57 is one of the most popular, enduring, and iconic microphones around. It's a versatile microphone that you can use for just about anything, either on stage or in the studio. You've heard it countless times on recordings and in live performances. The origins of the SM57 date back to 1937 with the development of the original Unidyne capsule. In 1959, the capsule was updated to the Unidyne 3, which they torture tested for three years to ensure that it would stand up to the rigors of the studio and the stage. The SM57 used this capsule and was released in 1965, and it quickly became one of the best-selling microphones of all time. The SM57 is a dynamic microphone, which means that it doesn't require external phantom power to operate. It uses a moving coil of wire connected to a diaphragm to generate its sound. Because of its simple, mechanical design, the SM57 is incredibly rugged. It'll handle just about any abuse. Today I've got two SM57s here. Now this one is brand new. I just bought it a couple of weeks ago for a project I'm working on. This one is my original, which I purchased way back in 1981. It's been in constant use ever since, on the road, on stage, and in the studio.
It's offering time. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I told you, and now you're seeing it for yourself. Live Room Season 2 is going to be let you find. Let me tell you, today is going to be a great day. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. If you haven't shared it yet, I don't know what you're doing. Just share it with your friends on your WhatsApp status and all that. So this afternoon, I have my brothers. I call them my brothers because Miato, we are here. <laughs> I have my amazing brother, Prince Senna, the man on the strings. This man over here has played it all. I'm telling you, has played it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, we are, we, are, we are friends, so we know we are having fun this afternoon. So I'm telling you, Prince Senna is an amazing bass guitarist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of the best that we have. Has yeah. played all, travel across to the countries <laughs> and all that. Sorry, yeah, sorry. touring. <laughs> Lockdown has made it so. <laughs> we are here. So, Prince Senna, welcome to Live Room. Thank you very much. But how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm in lockdown, coronavirus, everything going, I mean, down the drain. But, yeah, we still believe in God for, for, for many great things ahead. Wow. It's still a fantastic year. I think yeah. 2020 still has... has yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not giving up on 2020. At all. Because I, I, I know that very soon you're going to update your Momo status. And, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll be waiting for it. So, we have in the house also... <laughs> what should I even say? The award winning. Mm. Yeah. Fresh. Mm. Fresh. Fresh. Fresh from the oven. Mm. Very juicy and all that. He won the Instrumentalist of the Year uh, Ghana Music Awards and he's here with us this afternoon. Welcome, Imano Bludo. Yeah, thank you. Pastor. Oh. Pastor KB. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, my brother? I'm doing good by grace. Wow, wow, wow. I really enjoy what, what you guys played just now. And, and all clap your hands, all you people. And, and I, I can feel the clapping of the cymbals and the drums and all that. It's, 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 it's great. It's great. Please, if you are here watching us, just share with your friends. So today is going to be, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. So I'm telling you, it's not only the jam, but we're going to learn, talk about stuff. And hey, if you are watching this, you are getting all the angles and all that. It's powered by Divine Media. You can see from the kick and everything. You can see the bass guitar. You, let, let me tell you, it's powered by Divine Media. It's not your phone, I'm telling you. The quality that you're seeing is not your phone. It's, it's, it's a streaming level. And this brought to you by Virtual Sound, powered by Divine Media and his way music. And this afternoon going to be amazing. I just want to take a break before before we come because I'm, 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 only, I'm already feeling the... the, the, the um, What's the word? Um, give me the word. Um, I, don't, I don't have any words. No, you have the words. It's not the heat. I know heat, but I don't know the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know you are not feeling the heat. You are feeling something else. Mm. Mm. Just to start I don't, I don't know. Can we just take a break? Because <laughs> these guys, can you just take a break? <laughs> Well, welcome back from the short commercial break. So, um, we're going to highlight on um, the gears that my fellows are using. And if you hear the sound, we have two great engineers also in the house. Um, we have my boss, Caleb, and we have Emmanuel Popo also, a married engineer, you understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Caleb, I'm not com- coming to you, but <laughs> stereo, mix. <laughs> stereo mix. So you can hear. And listen, teamwork is everything. So we are having fun this afternoon. So Prince, um, I've seen this black and white bass all the time, and I want to know um, why why this bass? Like I can feel the pick, the slap when you're playing. It cuts through the mix. Yeah, I've experienced this several times. And and why this bass? Um. Okay, well, I'll say, um, I, I, actually, I was never a, a, a Fender fan. I was. I know. Yeah, I was, I was an <laughs> Ibanez guy. I, I prefer, like, but when I played this one, it felt different. I mean, I think this particular bass was made for someone like me who wants a contemporary sound, like not the typical jazz sound. And so I have a balance in between what I was playing earlier. And then a bit of the jazz sound as well. Oh, yeah. And and I mean, I'm not going to go into the tuners and all of that, but you can see that there's a humbucking pickup. There's a, a beautiful, like noiseless humbucking pickup that gives you that really modern, smooth sound. Yeah. Now the the main point on this on this bass for me is the tone knob. The I mean, there's volume, there's pan ports. I'm sure bass players know that already. There's um, bass and treble stack but the magic knob for me what does the magic for me on this bass is the tone knob it gives you so so much sound like you are thinking a marcus miller sound and you can just dial it in you, you are thinking like a james jameson sound old school vibe sound mm. and everything is just here it's just this one knob that's everything like for what we did i wanted a lot of um i wanted the the the, the the meat or the, the the body of the bass, but I also wanted the highs because it's more like a rock sound, and so the bass has to cut through. So what I did was to roll this all the way up, so I get the the bass not to sound muffled, but also very big in the mix. So, wow, wow. So yeah, that's it. I think the magic about this bass is the <laughs> tone knob. Trust mm. me, if 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 you don't you don't have a wild budget for a bass individuals church whatever i think this one i mean the price is quite so the, the name of the beast is the square jazz contemporary bees yeah i mean the contemporary there that's it I, i'm sure the price will be there also is it and, yeah. and, and I, I've, I've seen I've, i realized something from yesterday um this combo i i i never <laughs> respected the combo myself <laughs> like for the size and um, um guys uh we are picking the sound straight from the combo yeah yeah no di uh, no no di no and no DIs. and it's it's clean Mm-hmm. No, just just let them feel a bit of what you you you, you did with, with with it. Okay, so on on oh clap, yeah. I, I remember I said that I wanted the the, the lows. I wanted yeah, to be fast. Yeah. So, but then I wanted the I wanted the 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 highs as well. So you see that there's a lot of highs, even though I'm not slapping. There's a lot of clarity. Like there's a there's a clear definition of a bass. Mm. It's not just boom boom like that. It's boom boom, but it's very distinct. It's I mean it pierces. It cuts through the mix well. Don't 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 start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that, you know. And I, I've 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 tracked this bass before, and I'm I'm telling you guys, just recording this bass from DI. This is the, the this, the, this is actually the bass on. Um, MOGs, uh, what's the the last, the one before this one? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Yeah, that project, this is the bass I used. I think that, yeah, you were the engineer. Yeah, like you know, yeah. monitor mix. <laughs> 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 and I remember, I remember a program at the Action Chapel and all the other um, people um, um, were playing, the Nigerians and everybody. So I was there by the, uh, the sound engineer and you came for sound check and when you started playing, and the guy was asking, well, now we can't be now. The, the guy didn't <laughs> and I was like, it was cutting through the, the mix. Really, really, and really. I said, we can hear everything. And the same EQing, nothing. Was, I was not the one doing the sound, actually. But I felt it when you, you came on stage. I'm like, wow, this this this, uh, this is a great um, Yeah, that, that guy actually borrowed my bass to, to play. Oh. <laughs> on yes, 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 I remember, yes, I remember. Yes, Who, were, were which, for which artist? Uh, one of them, one of the big Nigerian guys. Is it Tim? No, it's not Tim, it's not Tim. Tim, Tim's guy had another bass, a six string. 
I've, I've forgotten. I think. But this combo, I don't know whether it's fender to fender. The rumble, but, but, but the rumble is highly underrated. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know why it's not, it's not out there. Like, fender rumble is highly underrated. Like, everything is set to almost flat here. Apart yeah. from, I cut the loose because I have, like, amazing loose here as well. Amazing. Amazing loose. Yeah. I'm borrowing your way. You know. <laughs> so, I just, the only thing I did on the, on the board was to just cut the, the loose a bit. But everything is set to flat. Wow. And, and, and wow. So so well, I, I I'm in love with the, the combo actually. I w- I would love to even use a microphone to mic yes, through the yes, combo and get the, the, that the, the um, out, um yes. I think Fender has this uh muddy kind of sound also yeah, that yeah, like yeah. like that it adds to the bass yeah, that I, yeah. I, I I really try to experiment yeah, it. I know yeah. Caleb is here also. When we talk about tone, he was like, Oh tone, tone. Yeah, you yeah. understand. <laughs> when it comes in many sizes, I think there's a Rambo 300, there's a, this is a 500. There's an 800 as well. So you know the movie for yourself, Rambo? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, no, I, know, I know you know the movie. Anything Rambo, you know that. <laughs> 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 God has helped us. <laughs> no, anything Rambo is not small. You can see from his gun and all that. <laughs> yeah, so that means that Rambo, we'll come back to the Rambo. So, so, so let me come to my brother also here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's already laughing. When we talk about recording, um, uh, Prince also records almost everything. But this guy, from the raw state of the file, <laughs> you can tell that this recording, like you don't need to do much to uh, to it. Nothing like you trying to trigger or do anything from 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 the recording itself. Junior, I, I just want to tell viewers. I know people have been asking, ah. Why that guy always is playing all the recordings? Why that guy is always... You should understand. So, yeah. and for you, you've recorded for Ghanaian artists, Nigerian artists, American artists, and all that. What, what is the, what is the Touring magic? Touring from home. Touring from home. <laughs> <laughs> that, that house. That house. <laughs> that house. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, but this is what you have. And, yeah. and, and I remember you've done a lot of recordings with, with this. Even yeah. the, the past um, uh, concert with Joe at um, 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 Paris, 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 Paris Doom, Doom. Yeah. the same kit that you use. So tell me about your kit. Okay, this is a, a DW design kit. And I didn't bring the full set today, but I have like a five piece of the DW here. I have uh, my 10 inch, my 12 inch, and my 16 inch here. Uh, and my cymbals are also uh, Zildjian, Zildjian A custom mm. cymbals. Wow, yeah. viewers, and I have a, a K custom here. Wow, so if viewers, you are watching also, you, you should know that Virtual Sound is the sole distributor of um, Zildjian cymbals, yeah. also. And um, they have the family pack, uh, the, yeah, I the, series, I series the I series, the S series, yeah. and they even have the, uh, the, the, A the, the, well. the A custom as well. Yeah. So, so because, so you, you. Really like cymbals because yeah. cymbals will determine your sound also. Yeah. So, when it comes to cymbals, why do you pick this set also for? For we come back to the drums actually. Yeah, yeah. For for the cymbals because of the sound I want. Uh, most of the stuff I do are contemporary stuff, so I need this thin cymbals that will give me that bright sound. Mm. Yeah. So that's why I go for the A customs. They give me that sound. Wow. And that brightness. <laughs> Wow. I mean, for certain projects, you need the dark sound and the door sound cymbals. But for most of the stuff I do, most of the, the stuff I record, I use the A customs. Yeah. Wow. That's good. So, to the kids, the kids over here, um, I, <laughs> for, yeah, I, I know even, even from day one, um, from Bononi, we're using the design series. Also yeah, yeah. From I Rive. use Joe's design, yeah, design series. Same, same as this same one. Same as this one also. Yeah. And... And I can tell you don't really struggle when you are tuning the, the kick, for instance. You don't really no, struggle. No. I, uh, I actually kick. don't have a lot of muffling in the in the kick. I just have like a pillow that comes with the kick, just lying on the butter head. Yeah, that's the resonance head, and that's the butter head. So I just have a pillow touching the butter, head, a, butter head to head. kind of muffle the sound a bit. So, so it comes with the kit also. Yeah, the it, come, come. it comes wow. with the kit. That, 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 that's you don't good. have to put a lot of foam and all that in it. I see some 
Hey, <laughs> let me not even go there. Uh, <laughs> no blackness. I couldn't even have Hello. a space even to fix the microphone. It was all <laughs> high density. <laughs> wow. So, 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 I, I, and also, I can see this mic that you're using, the, yeah. the Azure SM57. Yeah. And I've, I can tell uh, uh, viewers, this is the same case I was using from the house, like the studio. Yeah, this, this so the same we didn't, we didn't, we didn't ask him to bring, we didn't give him new microphones. He's using his own microphones. So you can tell some of them are, are quite a bit, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legendary. Legendary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but so why these microphones? Like, honestly, I know people yeah. who like at your level who like to change stuff, but why do you still stick to these microphones? Yeah, with, with the SM57, it gives you that definition mm. when you play. And you you actually capture the raw state of the drum. It doesn't change the natural frequency of the drum. You just capture it like that. And it's good to, I mean, to capture the drum just as it is. Not change the integrity of your natural sound. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, one thing also I love, I love about these microphones also, it picks the sound that is being pointed to. It doesn't add up any yeah, wanted it sound. So it doesn't pick um, the sounds from around. You just okay. pick the sound of the instruments is being placed on. Yeah, um, and I've, I've used this mic for vocals before, and I'm telling you, great, great. It's, it's and like a also, microphone. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, and also yeah, for you to use this to mic a combo. Also, guitar, yeah, combo, guitar um, combo, and it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's great. Even some horn. horn oh, for yeah. as for horn and percussive instruments, yeah. this is the same mic that I've been, I've been using. But I know people are asking why this mic for the hi hats, like why, like, like we could get the same mic uh, uh, SM7B. Yeah. yeah. So why using SM7B, and why? I'm using it for, for my hi hat. People want this for their studio for. Vocals. And you're using it for hi hats. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why? Yeah. Uh, for for it, it captures the 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 right frequency I want for my hi hat. It it's, it doesn't pick a lot of the mid range. It just pick the high frequencies that I want for my hi hat. So it's just like um, the SM57. It has that high definition for picking the actual sound of the instrument being recorded. Wow, and <laughs> for for this mic, um, for the sure SM Seven B, and if anything sure, you you know that you, the number one shop to go to is Virtual Sound. You get original shop because I had a friend, I had a friend. I don't want to mention them. You know the person <laughs> that bought this SM Seven SM Fifty Seven, a lot of them. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, Are you sure? Oh, there are some the other price? producers in town. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. And he said the price is cool. I said, okay, you let you try it and let's see. So I was there. I received another call. See, Charlie, he like that. It not be you. It so looks it's the same, but it's not. It, it looks sound. the same, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not the same. So if you want original, um, how do you call it? Um, microphones uh, for sure. Uh, 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 sure, SM57. Yeah, the other other ones also the PGs and all that, depending on your budget and all that. But but, but when it comes to show, it picks it picks yeah. so, so great. So if if and, I mean and for the the kick as well, we we have a, a Beta fifty two. Fifty two, yeah. that one standard. One of <laughs> standard. the best for recording. Yeah. Kick, yeah. If it's not the uh, fifty two, it's either the ninety one or mm -hmm. the flat one for the kick uh, for the in and this one for the out. And and f the sound that you are hearing online is not something that we have trigger machines over here. No, it's, it's, natural it, sound. it's a natural sound. Organic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> organic sound. <laughs> sound. <laughs> no spices. So 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 I I could tell I could tell from the two of you whilst we we're playing, I you we were not like too much uh concentrated like you know people when they are playing they are very rigid about what they are doing but I can see that you people the communication between um, you and him and all that. So tell me what is the uh, uh, like I can tell a lot of drummers have their own bass players that they try to move with in that control. What is the relation between the drummer and the bass? How 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 do you do you do you go about with it? So let me let me let me I know because of the way you play <laughs> I, I, no, I know because the way you play. I've seen you before play with someone and you were not happy. That, you can see Prince was playing, but he was not happy. Because oh, he was happy. <laughs> I was happy. I was happy. No, no, because I was happy. you, you I was see you happy. see you see when you have a narrow way and Everybody is trying to enter through that way. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to mention the thing, but I'm telling you. But so, so tell me, like, as a bass player, what do you look out for when, like, you, you have a program, your, your drama, your choice of drum? What do you look out for? 
Okay. Um, one my, myself, I don't I don't know if it's if if it's my personal bias. I I I'm not a fan of um, drummers who who do a lot. I'm not I'm not a big fan of drummers who who do a lot. So if a I'm lot as in sweating and playing or what? No, no sweating. <laughs> like I don't like busy drummers who are all over the song. Some okay. people like it. I mean, people do YouTube videos and they put stuff like that there. I if you realize myself, I'm not the very flashy kind of bass player doing riffs and runs all around. I mean, it's not wrong if someone does it. I mean, that's their style. Yeah. So, because I don't do that, and that sounds... It, it's, it's quite difficult for me to listen to something like that. I would also want a, my drama to be that kind of person so we can properly gel. The, myself and Bluto is a special case. <laughs> it's a special case. I, I think God just brought us together. I mean, so many years ago, we were yeah. practicing in his house. Because everything was there. We we'll, we'll go to the office and listen to music and try and remember everything and come downstairs to the, the chapel, chapel and play. Yeah. Hmm. That's what you know. So it was one thing going upstairs to listen and making sure you remember, you remember. everything because the yeah. drum wasn't upstairs. Yeah. The music was there in the office, but we had to listen there and come. So there was, we had a lot of time for practice and I think that's very important for, for if you want to really gel with someone. It won't come automatically. You, there's a typical example, your your your, your guys, <laughs> and it's the and, and David. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. When they you you may not be so I mean excited about them if you see them playing individually elsewhere. But as soon as they come, there's that synergy. You know, I go, think go go and uh, go go and, uh, and, and Virgin. Yeah, another another beautiful example. There's always that synergy. So I think that. No, I was lucky to Eng have engineers. Also, we have me and Tuki. Yeah, you know. So one, I look out for who who is who is singing the song as well. I mean, it's not just it's not just the, the singer in front of us. I mean, I look out for who who is playing the music because I I'm I'm not. It's just that I don't know if it's wrong or I don't want to say it's wrong. But personally, I'll go for a drama who is. What we play, what we uh, sorry, what we played now. Uh -huh. Maybe there are even some mistakes there, but sure. because we we love together so well, the viewer may not be able to tell. tell. Yeah, but, but so, so let me come to Bluto. I people like ah, somebody comes to a program, they are expecting you to do certain things, and Bluto just lock it down. Like like, in, I, I've I've watched you all over the years. Um, you have this. Production mind, even when a, whether it's a, is a, whether it's a, yeah, even if it's a jam, <laughs> it's a jam. Like, Bluto has become a defect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, so, so groove, like, 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 because we are talking about bass and drums yeah. and all that. So, how do you maintain your groove and what is groove to you? Like, how do you go about what's your approach? How do you go about it? Yeah, first of all, I think you should know your role. Mm. That's where you should start from. You should know your role as the drama of a band or whichever setting you are in. You are the timekeeper. Oh. You are the timekeeper. You maintain the the time of in, in the song. Uh how do I explain the time to a lay person? Uh you keep the song in a certain tempo range. Mm -hmm. If if I should say another complicated word. <laughs> tempo <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you are the timekeeper of, of the whole music. So it starts from there. If you are not performing that basic role of keeping the tempo, any other thing you are doing is, is like you are moving away from what you are supposed to do. So start from there. And I play differently based on different settings. Hmm. If I'm playing behind an artist, first of all, is the artist the kind that likes me to be busy on the set? Right? I mean... For example, uh, I work with MOG sometimes. MOG wants a drama who is a bit expressive, right? So when I play... It's, 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 from, <laughs> it's from our church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, when I play with MOG, he wants me to express a lot on the kid. But when I play for other artists, when I, when I play with Joe and other artists, they might not want me to be too expressive. So you just have to find the balance of of who, whoever you are, you are playing for and not not use uh one's way of 
of, of wanting you to play for another person. So you start wow. from there, the artist you're playing for, and the next is the musicians you are playing with. The musicians you are playing with. If I'm playing with uh, a bass player and other musicians who are very busy, I would decide to lay back a bit because we can all... Music is like having a conversation. We can all not be talking at the same time. So someone have to lay back for the other one to speak. So if I'm playing with people who are a little busy, I'll tend to lay back a bit just to make uh, the music breathe a little. And if I'm playing with people who are laid back a bit, it means I have room to go forward a bit. So just finding the balance of who the artists you're playing with and the musicians you're playing with. Uh, that, that, that's great, uh, uh, great because you, you really need to be very sensitive to some of this later yeah. stuff. So, so if I may also ask Prince, like um, talking about, like for instance, this base, I'm, 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 I'm sure the price is it's a cool price. About the 2000 something, 2800 for this base, and someone having a 5000 or 7000 or 13000 or 14000 base. Now, I would tell the sound I'm hearing from here is it even enough for me. So is it is it is it is it the gear the gear or the person playing? I think that um the the gear has a role to play. Mm -hmm. I mean there are there are unique instruments that that have certain qualities. That's that's a that's a different that's an entirely different issue. But I think that your sound is your sound. What comes out is not really it's like I'll, I'll give 10 percent to the gear and 90 percent to mm. the player because mm. what comes out it's is what um you produce your your tone your sound that is more important than the than the gear i mean we've seen people like like yesterday we we're discussing i mean we've seen people who have sat behind drum sets that were not so good everybody played the same sets and they came and and then they sounded amazing. I'm saying amazing again. Yeah. And they, they sounded and they, they sounded so good. And you wonder what happened. They did not even bring drum keys to tune up. Or if it's a bass, they didn't change anything. EQs were flat, maybe same as everyone. But I think that your your there's a need for every musician to develop your sound. Mm. Now, your sound doesn't change anywhere you go. If I should put this bass down and, and play another brand, I should be able to arrive at my sound. And and that is like a lot of a lot of um, practice time and I mean developing yourself. So wow. so the gear is important. I mean if 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 you 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 are not a good singer, let's say you sing off key, and you get the mi uh, the best microphone to sing into, you are only going to I mean amplify. That. <laughs> you are going to <laughs> amplify that, that that not being able to sing. You are just going to make it louder and tell the whole world look. I'm clearly not <laughs> able to sing <think> well <laughs> because there's so much clarity from. So, so I believe that um, gear matters 10% sometimes, but tone and your sound should come from you. Because I, I, the reason why I'm asking this also, there are some times that um, this man will come for a program <laughs> when he sits behind the drums, like you might think that the engineer is biased. Might change mm. the sound or mm. something, <laughs> yeah. Because I have I have my fair share. <laughs> oh, oh, day when he comes there, the it's sound every when you come, come there. No and, and then one day I was home. <laughs> I was home. <laughs> An engineer called me, and he said, Ah, Charlie, I didn't enjoy my sound today. Wow, <laughs> ah, your your people. Do you come, Charlie? Ah, one of you say I do work, I do work, but other people <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like. Yeah. So how do you develop getting that? Because I can tell whenever you are playing. You are spelling out everything, and you can hear everything clearly. I know some people when they are playing also, not maybe in Ghana, but you you can s hear that a ten and a twelve are sounding the same. Like the I don't know whether the power I I, I just don't I don't yeah. know I don't know. So how do you go about like when you go to a program? Like Azuma says, that take your old referee to the ring. <laughs> you guys have been doing it. I don't know how you put, do that because because how do you develop that tone for over the years? Yeah, uh, what, what I'll say in regards to that is um, when it comes to tone, uh, 
for the drum, everything counts right from the sticks you are using. What stick are you using now? I'm using Vic Fet, Vic Fet sticks now. Wow. Yeah. You so can get that on Bishop Sounds as well. Yeah. It's actually a new stick. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, from the stick and where you hit on the drum, mm. like if I want <laughs> a rim sound, <laughs> if I want this sound, and I position it here. So, it's important to know the the sound you you want and where the to get that the spot to get that sound from <laughs> and um, if you record a lot you realize that you need to hit for the tom you need to hit the middle <laughs> if you hit the side <laughs> <laughs> if you hit the side you are not going to capture the, the sound Please, I mean, pause, the pause. engineer can tweak it <laughs> 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 yeah, you are not going to <laughs> let me pause no, do you know why Prince is laughing <laughs> it's better than say don't mind that say. everybody's careful of, of what to see the spot and, uh, <laughs> if your boyfriend is not an instrumentalist you are missing a lot <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you. You, you if you read your bible very well David mm. I don't want to go there because it's good because you really know where to get the sound yeah the target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a dreamer. <laughs> wow. So, 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 so no, because like I've, I've seen so many times you go to some churches, the kit is not all the yeah, best. Yeah, and, and the not... cymbals as well. Sorry. The cymbals have different names because obviously they are doing di different functions here. Sure. Yeah. So I see certain people crash with the ride. <laughs> And I ask whether is is that the sound the person is going for, or Heavy he's metal. not aware the 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 ride is not a crash, right? My, my and one and is the, the splash, the splash. Hey, Randy. the splash <laughs> has a short resonated sound mm. for a reason. I mean, when you when you are playing uh, music with uh, that uh, short short notes. short notes, you you uh, syncopations and all that, you can use that there or when when you're playing your fields you can incorporate that but when you decide to crash on this it's not going to give you that sound it's not going to resonate for that much this is a crash and that's what it's meant for mm. and uh, i don't have the other ones here there's the china there's the yeah. there are stacks now and uh, there are effect symbols now they are all having their roles and you should make sure you use each of them i mean it all counts in producing the good sound that you want. Wow. Yeah. So we, ha we have even brighter say, say target him, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so we're going to take a commercial Sandra. break. <laughs> and we, we're going to be back. Don't go anywhere. Please share. We want to hit 300. Please share. Because <laughs> listen, today we are here to learn. We are here to learn. So don't go anywhere. Live room season two is amazing. You don't know who's going to come next. So just stay tuned. God bless you. We're going to be back with you. load of really flexible really clever stuff to start with the size of the the screens is is massive so you've got two full hd 15.6 inch screens running at 1080p resolution and what that gives you is an opportunity to relook at the, the the user interface as a whole and really come up with new functionality new workflows for for the user so for example, uh, yes, you have two screens and now either of the screens can be your processing or bank view, multi-channel view or setup screen. So they are equal in, in functionality. That means that you can do things like dual channel selection. You can have an input selected on the left, another input or a master selected on the right and process them at the same time as you go. Um, it also gives you uh, what we call the, the continuity UI, which is uh, an attempt to bridge or, or merge really aspects of the touch control with the physical controls around the screen. I think the first time we saw the continuity UI, so it was a little while on paper, and you're thinking, is this going to work? Because it's, it's quite a lot of information. You're trying to take uh, what would have been two physical things previously, merge them together and try and get something that's quite seamless. Uh, and so that's quite a lot of concepts. You're sitting there looking at it on paper thinking, is the user going to get this? Is the audio engineer going to understand uh, what we're trying to do? Um, but actually when we first power that up, you see it all come together 
on that nice big 15.6 full HD screen, I think it really works. And that was quite exciting. It was one of those moments where you're thinking, yeah, maybe on the right track here. There's a lot of prototyping, trying to think about ergonomics and, um, and, and materials as well come in at that point. So this journey for not using plastic and the, uh, the die cast um, extrusions that we've got on here, that's... Like, my soul is rejoicing. <laughs> wow. Like, like, good music is good, though. I, I tell you. I tell you. Um, it's, I'm, I'm surprised um, um, how you got the daughters are not using this for pushing our immunity and all that. Because music is, is, is great. You understand? Mm. If you don't love music, I don't know what is it's wrong with you. Therapeutic. Yeah. yeah therapeutic, music therapy. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, forget about food. But music is something else. You understand? It's, it sets the tone. You understand? I don't want to go deeper. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to go, go deeper. But, 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 but good music, good production, good hands makes everything work. Let me tell you, you are talking about how developing your tone. As an engineer also, you need to develop your art. As a video person also, you need to develop what you are doing. You understand? So when we all come together running a production, it's great work. You understand? If someone is trying to get the best and you are not learning anything, you know, whilst you are working, they are tweaking, they are doing stuff, they are mixing because it works together. We are a team. You understand? We are a team. That's why sometimes if someone has a gig, they'll call someone because they know how they really best of the same feathers always what. Uh -huh. And I, I, I was enjoying what you guys were playing. It wasn't rehearsed. Yeah. But I can tell when Prince goes down, you also try to bring it down, not to play anything over. When it goes up, you have a way also. So how do you people like try to create something new? How do you people come with it? Because for you, I know that you're able to create something out of the blue, like the groove. And, and you're not married also. I don't want to talk about that. But, <laughs> but <laughs> So how, how, how do you create music out of the blue? Like for him to join you and how do you do that? Okay, so this, this is the way I look at music. I think that um, it's just like learning a language. If I want to learn French now, I, I should expose myself to more French material, French French videos, French books. French Are you sure about the materials? <laughs> French materials. <laughs> <laughs> that is six years. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, so French I think music. that uh, it starts it starts from what you feed your mind. Um, I mean, like like the French example I gave. If you if you feed your mind with French, then French will come out. Mm. So it's like um, 
Something in, something out. You know, what... what <laughs> is it, come, come, come again. I don't <laughs> say garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> yeah, so I think that creativity, the first point of creativity is actually enriching what is here. Mm. Because yeah, whatever, whatever you, you play comes from here. If you have a good vocabulary, then you're able to speak well. So what if... Let me come, what if you have a good vocabulary and all that, and it keeps on pushing you to do more because you have a lot stuck in your head? So yeah. how do you go as a drama? There's space, and you think that we work over there, but meanwhile yeah. you keep it locking down and all that. How do you how do you like compose yourself when it comes to that? Hmm. Because I know you you know a lot yeah. of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, learning the material is one thing, and how to apply what you've learned. Mm. Is also another thing. If you only acquire the knowledge and you use it anyhow, mm. people are not going to see you the way you want them to see that you you have a lot of stuff. It's like you've given an overdose of what you are supposed to give. Then it becomes bad, just like the guy who doesn't have a lot of stuff to give. So th- for me, as a drama. Uh, I'll watch a video with uh, all the flashy stuff and I'll also go back and watch a concert where, or a production where they're actually using that in the music setting. Then I'll get to know that, okay, th- this is when he plays this and this is why he's playing this. When you begin to watch more of those stuff, I think you understand clearly when to do what and when not to do what but let, let, let's come i think that is debatable in a way because i know boys now because of youtube's sake boys have access to videos and all that and they watch all this stuff and they are waiting for opportunity to express themselves but you for instance you've watched them and watched the other ones it's the same videos that people are watching on them but no we <laughs> we have shared in videos and we have like people playing actual music Okay. There are two different mm-hmm. stuff. The way people play in a shed is different from you can watch the same the same musician play in a shed and play behind an artist. He's playing differently. Even though he knows a lot of stuff. If the music doesn't call for those stuff, he's not going to play them. I've I've watched you over the years also. Like I've seen boys who come and stand behind you with phones and all that <laughs> and you know won't play anything. <laughs> <laughs> you will play what's the necessary for the music. I'm like, how do you control yourself? Because I know humanly, like when people start to stand around you and all that, you also want to show something and all that. How do you comport yourself when you're when you're when you're playing? Because that thing is very yeah, serious. Yeah. I think first of all you should know why you are there. <laughs> it starts from there. You know why you are you are there to play the music and not because well, of the yeah, people. <laughs> they are secondary to the reason why you came there. Oh. If you allow them to take your mm. focus from why you are there, then you've been defeated. Mm. Then you're not on the net. I, I, I remember. I remember back in the days when uh, you had no bass guitar and I have to go and rent a bass guitar. That would be <laughs> some, some oh, crap, crap. <laughs> Just like bass. how many years ago? Way back. The violin then. bass. Charlie. <laughs> and the tone that this guy <laughs> was able to produce. Like, I knew I knew you from those days. Like, blue bass, yeah? Yeah, uh, Charlie. Painted like paint. <laughs> yeah, like proper paint. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I'm like, wow. At that time, you were able to... So how how did you all these years, and I know you listen to good music also. It's a great influence on you. That I know. That we were able to mention some. Bit. I know I some heard, people don't so know which their music I've is heard, bad. I've heard. I've heard you. Yeah. Which music is bad? You said but if, if there's good, good, there's bad. Yeah, I know, but yeah, <laughs> according to your definition, <laughs> no, I, I have times that people come to the studio to come and just record. <laughs> they, they come and record it. Yeah, it's, it's still music. You understand? So uh, you're <laughs> saying it's bad music. <laughs> no, you you have to choose what is a good music or what's a bad music for you. Is it, is it <laughs> personal now? You, <laughs> you want to? You, <laughs> you want to? <laughs> you want to? <laughs> how am I? You? How am I? You? So 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 how do you like over the years? It's not like it's now that you are getting to develop your base. So over the years, how as as a beginner, you are able to pick up your tone from from onset like how do you how do you how do you get there how do you even start to 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 do that i think that um you now we are back to the tone development again i think that um i didn't have a base like you already said so i i only had 
like the church bees on Saturdays, not black bees. And that one you have to fight with security man because <laughs> it says you are making noise and all of that. Yeah. So I think that it was for tone, I I think it's it's just practice. You know, you get you get better at something when you do it over and over and mm. over again. I like the way Richard Bona puts it. He says that um success is repetition. Mm. If you want to be good at anything, just do it all the time. Mm. And so that's 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 my bit on tone. I mean, it's not really any any wild magic. I think that spend more time with the instrument, do the same things you do. I mean, the right ones, do them always, and you are likely to have a, a, a niche. Yeah. So this question goes to both of you. At your level, do you still rehearse? Who, because, uh, because who answers that, first? Um, Bluto should answer that. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. because if I know I'm playing like you, Ah, I can't come and kill myself. Who like, I'm like, no. yeah. But I see you still learning. Like, like, yeah. so, so, so. At your level, do you still rehearse? Yeah, I, I still find time to practice. Mm. Actually, <laughs> because I, I record frequently, I see every project as an opportunity to learn something new. Mm. So I mean, I approach it with an open mind. C- certain times you are given music that you are not really exposed to. Uh, should I say music? A uh, genre of music you are not so used to playing. Maybe I, I don't play uh, uh, reggae frequently, but when I happen to work on a production that involves reggae, it gives me an opportunity to listen to uh, stuff around that and pick up certain ideas. Wow. wow. So I'm I'm learning and rehearsing on the job. And I have separate times that I just practice on the instrument, developing my my speed, working on my tempo and all that. Okay. He is able to rehearse and develop his speed and everything because he has his own kit. So um, Virtual Sound um, has a 40% um, um, discount on one of the drums. It's a, it's a great, I think you put it there, 40% discount. I think you should rush to get one. And also they have some other products. Also they have 40%. I think the Pro Tools S3 and the Dock System also they have 40% discount. And also the base, uh, uh, I think one of the base, uh, uh, the base pack. So if you want to own your own instrument and all that, if you're an instrumentalist and all, all that, if you come to Virtual Sound, you have a special package for instrumentalists and they, hey, take advantage of this. It's, it's good to own a gear, you understand? And don't just own the gear, oh, I have this, I have that, but use it for God's glory. You understand? So, so, so back to you guys again. Back to you guys again. Now you skip the other question. Am I w- which one? The practice. Okay. No, no, practice. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like, like how... How I think I think I think Divine Media is really enjoying your jam. It's really enjoying <laughs> your jam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. To be to be honest, I I don't I don't see myself practicing a lot these these days. Why? Um, no, I think that I no, practice. Please, 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 please. No, please, I'll tell please, you why. I'll please, tell you why. Please, yeah, tell me. I I, I, I rather no, spend I, time. You are not a stammerer. <laughs> I rather spend time. Uh huh. To appreciate what is happening mm. in in songs in the music. Okay. Like sometimes when I when I pick a song. The bass is the last thing I listen to. I want to understand chord changes and why this is happening, where, why there's violin somewhere, why there's horn somewhere, and why they played what they had to. I spend more time doing that than practicing these days. It doesn't mean I don't practice. And like the Blue Dose scenario, any, like I have a song I have to do now for, for one medical doctor, and it's, it's traditional jazz. That's not something I play all the time. Mm-hmm. So between yesterday and today, I've been listening to like people like Stanley Clark, and those guys, just to get a vibe and understand what is going on. I may probably call Bright or Sell or someone to to uh, to top up that before I approach the song. So that, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So if if I may ask, what do you do? Um, um, what do you do when you're not doing music? Like, what are your hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> hobbies? Do I feel have hobbies? Nowadays, our phones take all of our time. We are talking to friends, chatting, watching videos, music videos. Talking to friends, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, friends are a necessary part of of life. Yeah, wow. so... But, but I know I have certain little, little interest in, like, oil and gas. Oh. Uh, like, flying, all of aviation and all those things. So once in a while, you see me reading, like, 
um, how a plane crash happened or wow. why there's this oil reserve somewhere and it's here. So, yeah, I'm, so I'm not that boring. <laughs> oil money. No, it's that's, not just that's, music, music. That's, 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 that's <laughs> So, so Blue Day, what do you do? Like, what are your hobbies, actually? What are your hobbies? Hobbies? Yeah. It's very important because people yes. like that. Uh, the guy, why? You always, always, like, uh, you always <laughs> record. Like, in, yeah. a, in, a, in a typical day, I allocate a time that, just like people go to work, I allocate a time that I should be in the studio. And when that time is up, I make sure I leave there. I don't, I don't get stuck with music all day. I make sure... I live there and talk to friends and do what everybody does. Like talk to friends, do what everybody relate does. to people aside yeah. just doing music in the studio because there's that temptation to get caught up just doing the music and it's like you are cut off from everybody, family, friends, and all that. So you, you for me, I, I make it like a cautious effort to to get time to stop doing the music stuff just to oh. interact with people. Yeah. Really. That's amazing. So that means that you have a social life apart from yeah, the yeah. music and all, and all that. So that's that's great. And viewers, we're going to have viewers' choice also. If you <laughs> if if, <laughs> if, 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 if you want to, if, if you want us to invite someone in, we we're, we're going to give you the opportunity also. So once in a month, we're going to bring someone chosen by you people. So I want us to take a small break, so just just small break, um, and small break because listen, doing this is not easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but but. Thank you for, 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 st for staying with us. And you guys have been amazing. And I like how you're sharing. You now 200 people and all that. Wow. So I think, let me read some of your comments. Let me read some of your comments. Uh, um, let me go up. Let me go up. Let me go up. Hey, how to apply what I've learned. Thanks, my mentor. Wow. Derek, please, Blue Do. Should, Blue Do should explain further. <laughs> uh, On what? Individual play and team play. No when to uh, oh. so I think I think please keep your question um coming in. We'll take some of them. Yeah, we can't we can't we can't read all of them. Virgin <laughs> fire Charlie, I love you bro, I miss you. We have Virgin. my boss, Denzel, Reverend Denzel. God bless you so much for, for watching for watching with us. Um mm, Prince Anna, they do music analysts now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, these guys are learned guys. So <laughs> don't, don't, don't think. I'm telling you, these guys. <laughs> no, uh, no, I'm telling you, these guys. Oh, oh, no, <clears throat> I don't want to go there. I don't want to tell you what they did at school, actually. No, no, <laughs> let's not go there. So, Reverend mm -hmm. Denzel is a um, great guy by all standards, and I am learning more to enhance myself. God bless you. Wow. Can't wait to meet you. Who do you want to meet? You. No, it's, not, it's not me. You are the host. <laughs> My question to Blue Door, what informed your choice of drum heads? Uh, drum As heads. Ennis. Yeah. Ennis, which Ennis? Yeah. Ennis, virtual sound. Virtual sound. Takwadi. I can see that you're using Evans. Yeah, I'm using Evans now. Uh, I think uh, with the heads, we have the clear heads, we have the coated heads. And depending on the the style of music you're playing and the sound you want from the heads, as well, or the drum as well, because when I'm using a coated head, I have uh, less rings compared to the clear heads. And even if the head is a double plier or a single plier, for single plier heads, you have more attack. When you hit the head, you have more attack. With the double plier, the attack is a bit reduced. You tend to have a fattened sound from it. Mm. So I'll, I'll prefer that on probably my kick or my my floor tom. Okay. I like the double pliers on my floor tom for that fat sound. Okay. And I can decide to go for the single pliers for my rack toms. Wow. For that more attack. I love what you just said because that also makes the engineers work also easy. Yeah. Because you don't yeah. boost something that is not there. <laughs> yeah. You understand? You that, that, that that's punchy. That's that's great. Punchy sound and all that. Well, I can see For most of the snares, I, 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 I usually prefer a coated, but today I don't have a coated here. Because <laughs> of uh, probably if you want to use a brush and all that, with the coated you can get yeah. that rough sound and all that. But you can't get it from the clear head. No. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm really learning. And I like the way you treat your gears also. Like, 
like I, I've, I've, I've studied you for long. Like the way you mm. treat your sets and all that's how <laughs> you take it. You see the way you are holding this crap. That <laughs> tell, speaks a lot about your, your, your lifestyle. Wow, I like the way you are also using your fingers. That, that's, that's very good. <laughs> I, like the way <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you are sitting. <laughs> so, 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 Prince, um, how do you, because I've seen you uh, like having your own base and all that, and I, I see that they are always in shape, good shape and all that. How do you take care of your gears also? What do you do? Oh, uh, simple. Cleaning. Cleaning and, I mean, as much as possible. You keep it in a good case. Keep it in a dry environment. No too much moisture because it can affect it. Mm, um, um, listen, um, Divine Media wants to do something here, right? And I want you to people to express something through your music also. Because, <laughs> listen, we have a lot of sets over. Let me tell you, getting this thing done um, is, is, is great. Thank you, Virtual Sun, so much for, for giving us this space and for also sponsoring this program. And to get all these guys here, you should see behind the, the scenes what's happening over here. We have great guys here climbing the stairs with the equipment and all that. Mm -hmm. Married men <laughs> doing stuff. It, it, yeah. it's, not, it's not easy. Shout out to Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Albert, God bless you so much, sir. Yeah. And, and Ben, God bless you for your time and all that. Yeah. Leslie downstairs, Jennifer, all the people here, and Caleb coming all the way from his place, leaving mommy and all that, coming all the way. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> Sorry, mommy. <laughs> we have to do this. <laughs> but, but listen, team, teamwork is very, very important. Shout out to all the other companies also. They are promoting good original products in Ghana. Um, Upswing Music, Sweet Music, um, um, Drum and Bass, Phases Audio. Yeah, Timens. Timens. Yeah. Listen, you guys, God bless you so much for... Listen, I know it's very difficult to sell to sell products in Ghana Freddy's. here. Freddy's audio. It's very, very difficult because there's a lot of uh, Tashi how in the market. <laughs> and and it's, it's, it's and those the equipment Kohama. are very loud though. <laughs> They're very, very loud. <laughs> 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 I don't know when they are trying their microphone, someone, tew, tew, tew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like <laughs> so why, why do you guys do the one, two, three? Hello, one, two, one, two. What's, what's um, behind that? Um, we are not going to talk about it now. <laughs> we are not going to talk about it now. But, but listen, it's, it's, it's good that we are having this in Ghana, that we have good campaigns over here that are so distributors of some of these great brands and all that. And please, let's get together. Let's get together. It's very, very important. Although we are doing marketing and all that, it's, it's good to, to support each other in whatever we are doing. I, 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 when, when sweet music is... I mean, I, I, I do all around. You understand? I do all around. And it's, it's, it's so good. It's so good. We need each other to, to make Ghana be a, a, a great nation. And let me tell you, the little things that you don't know that we are affecting a lot of countries around us as Ghanaians. I'm telling you, travel and see. And you know how influential we are with our music and all that. So let's take our craft seriously and all that. Support each other. Don't be like we can't see. You have all the things, then go climbing there, trying to hide your brain. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, you, I know. It's bad. Listen, listen. You, you, will not, you, you will not be at the top forever. Some people are coming up. And I, and I can I can, I can, I can say for for the fact, these two that we have here, the other guys that they look up to, then they'll come, oh, Prince, uh, uh, this, this uh, 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 phrase you played on this album, what's your approach? And he'll fully teach them. And Budo also does that. Also. I have a lot of guys that follow him and all that. And, 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 and it's great. And listen, it's not just trying to ask questions also. There are certain things you acquire when you serve. Yes. Mm. There are certain things when you acquire when you serve. I'm telling you. And for me, I'm a product of that. Do you know the speakers I've carried? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea. And let me tell you, there are certain impartations that God will give you. It's not necessarily the person teaching you. Whilst you work with the person, while you try to support the person, whatever they are doing, you are learning from them. You understand? So I, I want you guys to... Uh, do, do, you, do you want us to play a track or something you want to express yourself? We want to play something uh -huh. for, for just our viewers, just for you to enjoy your headphones, you understand? <laughs> so do you play a track or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ima, do you have a track? Ima, do you have a track for us? Yeah, Ima has a track. More track. How many horsepower? <laughs> <laughs> so so we're going to... Which one is that? Which one? Play, play. Oh, we have Jesse Joko too. God bless you, my boys, for watching. Nanayao, Charlie, amazing drama. Amazing drama, Charlie. Uh, wow. Oh, um, shout out to 
Nanapoku, Nanapoku, um, virtual. virtual sound. Let me tell you, this man. Is thank, thank him for us. Yeah, you know, <laughs> on behalf of Nyato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, on behalf, on behalf, on, on behalf of, <laughs> of my brothers, Nanapoku, wherever you are, boss, I salute you. I salute you. There's no day, there's no day I talk. To, there's no day I talk to that man, this man, and I don't learn anything from him. Um, he's one of the few people that will teach you right as a Christian, as a believer, what to do and all that. He's, he's been so, so helpful. Thank you so much, boss, wherever you are. I salute you. And, and I know, I know, I know. I know the booklet. You, you, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. But please, let, let, let's enjoy this song from our brothers. Listen, listen, listen. We are trying to let them start over again. I, I love the intro. Sorry, I really, sorry. I really, I really love the intro. Listen, we're going to go back again. I really enjoy yourself, yeah? Commercial yeah. break. Yeah. Commercial break. But please share with your friends. Share with your friends. And we are going to take a commercial break. We're going to be back with you soon. Whilst we're, going to, we're going to take a commercial break. Um, I, I know Theo is enjoying himself. <laughs>
Listen, if you are watching from home, I'm here to tell you God knows your name. If you are alive today, He knows your name. Many are dead and gone. Here you are, viewing, enjoying, hearing. He knows your name. He's a mighty God that we serve. He is good all the time. This lockdown, this, this corona, it might be worse that you can think, but it's working for your good. I'm really enjoying myself. Listen, listen, I'm really enjoying myself. I'm not forgotten. He knows my name. That moment that you did, you're not forgotten. <laughs> God knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> he knows your full name. <laughs> God knows your the oh, name wow, of your account. Wow, wow. <laughs> and, 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 and one thing also I've, I've studied about the two of you also. When there's a mistake, you put don't show it that. But <laughs> like, 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 like you smile about it, you yeah, know. Yeah. No time put like, Mm. No. <laughs> you know, people do that. I know, but the way people like how 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 do you get over when mistakes happen and all that? You just on play stage. on stage and all. Because I I can see that people do it over and over again. How do you people go about with it? Yeah, the the the, the first thing for me is that it's not all the audience who know what you are playing or mm. who, who they've not been to your rehearsal or probably even heard the music you're playing. So. Your reaction will tell them that yeah. we, we've made a mistake. So just find a way to enjoy yourself when it happens. Hmm. You can smile or... <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's yeah. the trick. If yeah. you see us smiling too much, it means, <laughs> <laughs> it means something is happening. <laughs> it means something is happening too much. <laughs> yeah, but but, but, that, but that's, that's, that's great. That's great. And, and I've also seen you maybe sometimes when um, we, in quotes, the engineers, don't give you what you want but you still play what you are playing like you still stick to the music and you don't i know people get interrupted well uh, when they have that issues but over the years i've seen you been able to like comport yourself and behave well behaved mm. like, is, is it your nature <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm well behaved i'm, I'm well behaved so yeah. how, how do you people do that on stage shout out to charlie keys wherever you are <laughs> I, I, I know that you Ooh. wish you were here yeah. <laughs> listen <laughs> Listen, it's not all about Vuzela. Life is... <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, Vigia. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Shout out to J Loops. Mm. J Loops. Mm, Daddy mm, J. Mm, mm, mm. You know how we do it. You know. Did share you? with a friend. Share with a friend a friend. I miss you, my brother. You know, stay. Now, listen. We are, we, are, we are eating healthy. You understand? We are eating healthy. It's very, very good. Don't look at some part of me and be telling me that's what am I talking to you about. Listen, listen, eat well. It's, it's, it's very, very good. It's very, very good. So I'm um, back to the question. How do people handle that on stage when monitors um, are not working for you, your in-ears and all that? But I can see that you people are, when you hear the files from outside or maybe anything, mm-hmm. ah, Charlie, no mistakes. You guys are still on point. How do you handle stuff like that? Okay, so you know the answer. We smile. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, and, and, but and, and, okay. let me know even. Uh huh. It's good that we have these two guys over here. Hippo, you're always one take when it comes to production. Let's do, let's do the first question. No. <laughs> <laughs> let's do the first okay. question. Okay, just answer answer the question for me. <laughs> so yeah, um, like in a typical congregation, a typical audience, maybe those who understand technicalities are just maybe two percent. So the rest don't know what is happening. They they watch your reactions to see if there's a problem or not. So I mean, it, I don't think it's nice to to tell everyone sitting there that something is wrong. Like mm. my thing is not coming. So I think it's just not nice. It, it, Let me not miss this question. It's, it's very important. So please, my question to them and uh, is which instrument do they like to hear most in their um, in ear monitors and why? Okay, for me, when I'm playing with uh, a sequence or a loop. I want that on top in terms of the level. Uh, I might not like a bass in my mix because the bass combo might just be by me or the yeah, guitar man. combo might just be by me. So I might not want that in my mix. Yeah. So pretty much the stems and maybe keys if they don't have monitors on stage. Okay. Okay. And, and Prince? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same. If, the, if there's a stem... Yeah. You want to hear that, I mean, louder than anything else. Because, you, I mean, you can afford to not play a note with the pianist, but you can't afford to fall off the click. You can't afford to fall off the the stem. So, yeah, the stem is usually on top. I like congas a lot. 
No. If yeah, if yeah. it's an African setting, I will just put bass drum, hi hat, and congas. Oh. In my ears, yeah, it gives me that a groove. Me, like church groove praises, back. you know. If there's a good conga player, trust me, you, you'll be all <laughs> over my. <laughs> Yeah, I like so, so a question again: How do people get um, um, prepared for um, ready for a live production? Because I know sometimes playing for some of these big artists, you know, you get nervous because look at the crowd, the stage, the lights, the cameras. One camera on top of you, one camera <laughs> and all that. So yeah. how? I think we did, we did a production for Minister Zuta. I think we just had like two rehearsals. Yes, yes. It oh. was just yeah, yes. For, the, the, for an album. Uh, what's the, the project? Papa. Papa. The God Factor, the one yeah. with. Um, Papa and all of those songs, yeah. It yeah. was just two days. So we, for, for the first rehearsal, I think we put the arrangements together. Then the recording was sent to us. Then yeah. now you have to do your homework yeah. before you meet for the final rehearsal. It was just two mm. rehearsals and we had to play. The whole production. Yeah, yeah. the production. Mm. Oh. So you do much on your own in terms of what the patterns and whatever you'll be doing. It's good that you are here. <coughs> your... I've noticed one thing about you. <laughs> I don't know whether you go home with the <laughs> audio files and you have countered notes and all that, like uh, your substitutes and all that that you play. And they are just on time. Like it makes sense. How how do you do you do you do you do you write them down? <laughs> like oh, ar around this place I'll play this and I will play that and that. I've been listening to you a lot. So how how do you how do you do that? Substitutions. Yeah, I I like to experiment a lot at rehearsal so um you find me doing a lot more at rehearsal than mm -hmm. on the actual gig because i'm experimenting i'm trying with this work over that i mean but some also come by inspiration and by feel mm. you know sometimes even the number of bars you have to do the chorus at the end because the environment is charged the whole place is charged um, the, the singer probably wants to do more choruses yeah. and so you get into uh, another mood again and so naturally from experience or what you've done elsewhere before, you you know that okay, this one, if I put a three on a five, you you I mean it will help to accelerate that that um I mean it will, will complement the environment, what is happening there. Yeah. So so I experiment a lot with, with notes. And wow. The notes may be right, but like for instance if you do a two on a five chord, <coughs> it, it's not wrong. Because there are two notes right there in the chord, but where you also do it matters a lot. That's why you have to experiment. Yeah. So yeah. So someone but is asking. My question is, um, uh, does, uh, does he use both um, in ears and side fills during his concerts? Well, for a live recording setting, I will prefer the in ears. Uh, but if it's not a recording, I can do with the wedges. I think he wants to know if you use both at the time. Or is that yeah, both at the time. Depends. When I get the in here, I'm fine. But if it's not a recording, I normally want the stage to be heavy. So probably, you know, I always worry you. I want the sub. I want the sub behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so probably my in here and the sub, just to fill the low frequencies on stage. Okay, on live concert, I can write there. Everything has been. So this question, I'm not getting it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that this que some of the questions, I'm skipping them. So please, uh, please talk about the money small. <laughs> <laughs> What's money? Wow, Stephen and Pintin. God bless hey. you. Yeah. <laughs> Super pianist. Charlie, amazing <laughs> guy, amazing guy. Hakim, <laughs> wherever you are, if you're alone... God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, my brother. And um, shout out to your sister Linda. God bless you so much. Reggie, God bless you so much for coming in. Wow. So we have another question also here. So is it possible sometimes you play on a live concert? Uh, eh? Eh? Hey, please the English you <coughs> break sometimes it down, break you it play down. on a live concert happens right there or everything is being rehearsed. I think the person is asking whether you put when you play live, um, like is it e everything is being rehearsed or sometimes some of them happen live on stage, like like some of them you you, you come up with it also. No, it depends on what happens on stage. If a song is brought up that probably we we've not done a rehearsal, then that's new to us on stage. But 
most of the time, whatever we do has been, we've mm-hmm. gone through that. So yeah. you, you know what you're supposed to. I so think Okasa is a, is a typical example. Yeah. In reference to the Eugene Duta and the God Factor. I mean. So uh, uh, this question, okay, fine. So how much should we expect to earn as professional musicians on on their level? How much should... <laughs> hey. Wow. Wow. Yari. Great guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saved the first name later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't respond to any message, but just <laughs> uh, live shows is not easy. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, um, uh, hey, please, uh, today, dear, if this deep question is before cool down, um, <laughs> Sana, please, can you talk about the substitution, extreme note substitution that works most often for you? Talking about the booba or something. I don't know what you mean by extreme notes substitution. Is he referring to uh, substituting with notes that are not in the primary chord? I don't. I yeah, please come again. Uh, please, I'm a sound engineer, so those things don't <laughs> come. And, come and worry me. Uh, so, so this one too. Um, um, okay, my question to Bludo: um, Does he have a catalog um, um, of snare um, snare drums he prefers for his gigs? Um, I think now I have like ten snares, but I still have my favorite among the ten. So <laughs> <laughs> out of the ten, I I think I play like three or four regularly. But I've tuned them for different stuff. Uh, if I'm playing uh, like an old school stuff, I have that loose fat snare. If I'm playing reggae, I have the snare I go to. Oh. A funk music, I have the snare I go to, and if I'm playing a ballad, I have a snare I go to. Wow! So they are all in different ranges, mm. in terms of pitch. So. Wow! Hey! Wow! But I mean, if you don't have the luxury of having a lot of snares, you could have just one snare, and uh, I think there's there's something here. Just a minute. Yeah, there's this fat snare thing I normally put on my snares, and w- when you put it on it, it just changes the sound. It just lowers the f- the, the pitch. This is my snare, right? So uh, let me put it on it. Oh. So on Whoa. stage, probably I don't want to tune up and tune down. So we are moving from probably a song that needed a high pitch. To one that needed a low pitch, I'll just slide this one on mm. it, and I have a different sound. So I mean, those are some of the things I do for live gigs. But if it's in the studio, I'll spend time to tune wow. to what I want. Wow! So that pity says lose. Please, some questions <laughs> cannot be answered over here. Someone <laughs> asking, um, ask them if they play. One track, how much would they charge? Oh, oh that one, D- DM, 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 please DM them. Please. Sam Prince, your DM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rates for all of us <laughs> for both purposes. Contacts. Because I can come Oh, in fact, I'm learning a lot here from Nigeria. Oh, God bless you so much for watching. God bless you so much for watching. Wow. So, which in- a musician do they take inspiration from? Uh, starting from Prince Anna. Kagawa, you, you inspire me a lot, you know. Oh. I'm not part of the show. No, you inspire me a lot. Yeah. How you how you can just get up one day and start hosting a show? I don't think you've been to any journalism <laughs> school. To no formal training. No formal training. <laughs> and you, and you have the courage. You know the courage first. Not even what yeah. you yeah. the the ambition. The you know just to say that I'm going to do this and I'll do it. See the camera. It's very intimidating. <laughs> a lot of cameras. It seems that like we are doing press release. You know. <laughs> you know and you just do it easily. I mean, you are one of my inspiration. God bless you. God bless oh. you, Kakawa. I, mean, oh. I really mean it from You're trying to make by this time. No, 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 no. I, 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 I also, I also want to say this also. Thank you, um, Chief. It was forcing also. It's one of the few people that also pushed us to do yeah, this the also. The key guy. Yeah, the key guy. <laughs> K, K, 
We are doing four cameras. <laughs> watch this one. Watch that one. <laughs> it's a sound engineer. Hey, me prepare me by my frequency. You are turning your head. You are turning your head. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's too easy. It. We are not. We, I, I'm saying let's take commercial. No, we are not going. <laughs> you know, you have to be very creative when you have to do this. And listen. There are other things that we, we all can do if we put an effort to it. You understand? I am not born to do this, but we are doing this also. And I believe in teamwork. Teamwork is very, very important. If I'm not able to do this by myself, if we don't have a wonderful team around us also. You know, so I have Caleb um, um, that's always been here with us. Amazing guy. And you know, they normally crop their hair for the headphones. Yeah. Just, just to, yeah. <laughs> great guy and Ima, Ima Povo also coming in and 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 it's 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 great and you see it's good to have good friends around you. You see, good friends are priceless. When when we meet us talk, we don't talk about musical. We're talking about something else. You, you understand? Like yeah, yeah. And and it's it's there. It's there. So try to create that friendship and all that. And don't think that maybe this is what some people also do. Certain personal questions don't try to ask if you don't have a relationship with the person. It's very, very important that we need to learn that. Or maybe you try to DM Prince and trying to ask certain questions that maybe he doesn't know you. Just be brief with your questions when you're talking to them and all that. You might think that the person, you see, sometimes eh, me, crap, I'm doing is my inbox, my WhatsApp messages. I hardly check them also. And sometimes you might send me a message I might for, for, uh, forget or something and all that. I know you people are just watching me. I'm binding Jesus. Listen, God, listen. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm saying this. Let's try to minimize how we approach people. You understand? If there's something, try to build a relationship with the person. And sometimes it's not always also about trying to learn. Can you see Prince? Oh, you, you have his number. Momo him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Momo. no, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you, maybe you see him, or maybe he, he, he likes a particular type Mo- of shirt Momo or something. Him. Oh, you just buy to just surprise him. Oh, buy him a perfume. Oh, divine, divine uh, 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 media. Oh, I want to, uh, like, oh, I'm just thinking of you, and I bought this perfume for you. You, and, know. And, and you see, you oh, know. I have this same that I saw somewhere, and I think that I just want to bless you. With, and when you do it, also don't go announce, oh, me had a same I said, me had a takatalie. No. Why? <laughs> please, let, me, let me start. I beg you. I beg you. Forgive me. Forgive me. It's not by the way. So please, let's try to encourage each other by sowing seeds. It's not like, don't wait for a prophet to come and tell you, I see something before it's come, come and sow a seed. If you love what they do, bless them. You don't need to ask you. Then one thing also we forget. Oh, Bruno dear, he has money, so he doesn't need a shirt or something. <laughs> you understand? The person doesn't need it before you have to give it to the person. It's something that is coming from your heart. Gift open doors, though, I'm telling you. And service also open a lot of doors, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm a witness of that, I'm telling you. And respect people. If someone someone is there, the kind of respect you give the person, God will watch your heart and place you also there. And it's not competition, like you knowing what to do. And you know, They can play a lot of songs, but we are talking about, you see, the Bible says in all you're getting, get what? Understanding. I know when we start jamming, the views will go up. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not about the jam, you know. <laughs> you understand? They, they can jam. You cannot memorize everything that he played over here. You understand? But there's something that he has that he's pouring out for free. And some of these things, you have to pay and go have master class to have these things for, for, for you. And we are doing this for free. And other people are watching from other countries. So God bless those watching from Togo, uh, from Nigeria, from Cote d'Ivoire, Swahili. Rwanda. Rwanda. US, 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 um, 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 Chad, Chad, um, <laughs> those watching from Azerbaijan. China, those watching from um, UK, God bless you all. Ukraine, yes, Ukraine, God bless you all. Hey, some names you have to be very careful when you're mentioning them. All. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hmm. so please, really, I see you, hmm. US, wow. So please tell me where you're watching from, also. So, oh, David Bludo. Wow, God bless you, my brother. Hey, hey. <laughs> prophet. <laughs> prophet. Prophet. <laughs> What's the Lord saying? <laughs> wow. So for Blue, how can one start a studio for drummers? What will one need in the budget to start? Um for <laughs> for startup, you need a, a kit, a drum kit. 
a good drum kit. I mean, you could get that from virtual sound. So then you need your microphones. You need good microphones. Then I think first of all, you need a space. You need a room with the acoustic well done because it's an acoustic instrument. If you have a room with a lot of echo and all that, it's going to interfere with the recording. So you need a space uh, padded a bit, not fully padded because you need some reflections as well. You need a space, you need a drum kit, you need good microphones, then you need uh, a computer or a laptop with a good memory. Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, with a good memory. Probably you could do a check on that and find out which one <laughs> which will work for you. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, you need a sound card. That's the last. With that, you are sorted. You need, you need a sound card. So, so I, I think I think if you're confused about this, you can walk into any of the virtual sound uh, um, stores and ask if I want to have a setup or oh, my budget. This is my budget, and this is what I want. And and how can you help me with? I remember when we were setting up yeah, your I place. Think yeah, <laughs> like four thousand, five thousand. You should be able to set up. Yeah. If you mention them, man, if someone will come mm. in year five thousand thousand students. No, you won't get the <laughs> best of you are not going to get the best of stuff, but you could get But you see the yeah. the fear is don't place budget on stuff. Start from somewhere. Yeah. Budget will scare you. You could add them in yeah. bits. Because you I didn't start having start, ten yeah. snare. No, I didn't even have a sound card. I yeah. I, I always had to call wisdom to come <laughs> track me from the house. See, yeah. I, I remember <laughs> Wisdom <laughs> was the one helping me out. I mean coming and helping me record so if i have to play recording i need to pile up the songs then call him mm. we come all the way from Oyarifa. oh god bless you wisdom. <laughs> god bless we you come all the way from Oyarifa, and we have to record all the songs before he goes back wow yeah now and you can he, wake up he, he taught me some stuff as well in regards to recording wow wow hey Sound card with a minimum of eight inputs. Yeah, Pintin, you're, you're right. You're right. Great producer, actually. <laughs> you need to contact him. That guy is, is, is wicked, I'm telling you. Great guy. Hey, wow. Johnson Asari, my brother. Great, great, great. Uh, um, um, Asari, send me your video. Eh? <laughs> Johnson, you're not. <laughs> Johnson is not allowed on this show. <laughs> yeah. Johnson, <laughs> which video? Right. He knows. <laughs> And shout out to Johnson, great engineer by all standard. Well, Johnson started with Keith, you know, he's a very... He's a drummer too. I've seen him play drums. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. 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 I think when the girlfriend left him and he... The breakup. That, the break that, up, that one. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, he okay. took him out of um, playing oh, instruments. Sorry, Johnson. Come back. Come and join us. Yeah, so, so, um, so questions then, please. The questions are coming. How do you pick which music to record or play on? Anything you look out for, or do you accept any gig that come your way? I'm not gonna say. How do you pick which music to record or play on? Anything, uh, anything you look out for, or do you accept any gig that comes your way, Prince Anna? Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. The first line is what? It's like so the first a compendium of <laughs> questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So which what was what's the first one? How, How do, do you pick which music to record or play on? I think the music that we play on usually comes from like producers or clients who want your sound. So one I think that first of all you have to like the music and and make sure it's something you will be proud of. I mean credits are going to come. <laughs> your name will be on it. Are you are you going to want to be associated with with such such products, so I mean, yeah, it's not it's not it's not all about mm, getting the cash or anything. You should want to. I mean, is your mama going to be proud of you? <laughs> <laughs> is your mama going to be proud of you for being on such? Just the mama says they're bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer, yeah, you are a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer, be defending us. He's a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is a lawyer for the whole fraternity, and now uh, she's giving up. Justin, what do you want us to do now? Hey, <laughs> Sway, ask Prince um, what influences his play and what basis does he listen to? Okay, influence. 
My influences. I think that um, Richard Bona is one big influence. Hey, we have James Miracle also. Wow. Yeah. Africa is home. Yeah, Africa is home. God bless you, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, so Richard Bona is definitely one of them. Um, I listen to Daryl Freeman, Alan Snoop. Yeah, Daryl. Um, Justin Means, all those guys. I listen to Philip Aqua, Bright Jose. And I mean, there's a, there's a lot to learn around too. You know, most of the time we yeah. are looking at um, the diet, I mean, on YouTube and stuff. But we, uh, we the have the KFC music. <laughs> we have, but, the but we have, we have, we have, the YouTube we have great here. guys here. <laughs> we have the YouTube. Here. <laughs> yeah, we have great. If I want to learn high life, I'll quickly run to Dan Grau material or Sami Otu or you know, great guys. Yeah. Great guys. So I mean, stop stop looking. Out there wow. too much. So Th- there are great also guys influences here. you also as a drummer. Oh, a lot of guys. Um, Francis or say uh, hey. David Okine. Kaba Six. Listen, Kaba <laughs> Six. Yeah, you know yourself. <laughs> These guys, they are influenced by you too. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, hey, where are the names gone to? <laughs> oh, I know they influence you. <laughs> yeah, I mean the musicians you play with, so they also <laughs> influence your play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she said, uh, uh, Lawyer Joycein. Oh, nothing. I'm just giving your fans. Hmm. I'm enjoying the show. Wow. So yeah, please. Frank. Frank Kissy. Hey. Yeah, he's big, yeah, big yeah, influence. Big big he, when I met him, my drumming changed at once. He, he, he can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Frank. Wow. He changed. That was the turning point. He just changed. Frank Kissy, wherever you are. <laughs> You have one star. Papa Frank. <laughs> great choice. Papa yeah, Frank. Yeah. We're going to bring all the great Frank guys here. Yeah. Parkour, all those guys. Great guys. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Parkour. Yeah, I actually had some time with Parkour as well. Oh. Yeah. I see. His house wasn't so far from mine, so. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That's, uh, that's something good to learn, actually. Don't forget about the people around you. Let me tell you. Like when you're enjoying KFC, eh, they are very soft in some way. But the local chicken, oh my <laughs> lord. Oh my, when the soup stuck in the bone. <laughs> ah, let me tell you, there's that's like local stuff, organic stuff. I'm telling you, they're very small, but they have content. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bone soup. Please, 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 we have to place <laughs> Hey, next week's going to be amazing. Oh. These guys are going to come back again, actually. I'm, I'm not going to show you, but next week's going to be amazing also. And we're going to have great guys over here. Not just music, but there are other stuff also for you to learn about. Um, and hey, hey, very soon, we're going to allow you to bring your videos in for the drum um, um, challenge. Drum challenge, your videos in. If, you, yeah. if you've been selected, we'll bring all of you here. We have... a the drum faculty, they're going to choose the winner. We now go home with the drum kit. And that's a great thing that Virtual Sun is going to do. It's, it's going to do, it's, it's doing actually. So please get yourself ready and just take yourself a video of a track that you're playing, then you send us the video. So very soon, we'll, we'll, we'll put out the line out there for you to send your videos. And you win yourself a drum kit. Is that not amazing? Eh, I know you like it. So can we, <laughs> can we, can we have uh, one music just to boost my immunity? Like, uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, 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 so, so let, let's take a, a short commercial break. I know somebody <laughs> doesn't like a break, but a break is good. You understand? Sabbath day, keep it holy. Mm-hmm. Say the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> More impact with their stroke. The first two models in the series were 5A and 5B. Very logical choices. Two of the world's absolute most popular sticks. Both the Extreme 5A and the Extreme 5B are available in wood tip, nylon tip, and in our very special Vic Grip, an anti-slip drumstick coating made from an eco-friendly water-based urethane. As wonderfully received as the Extreme 5A and Extreme 5B models have been, there are always folks who are looking for new models. Following these two great models, were 8D and 55A, two models loved by artists and often requested in a longer form. The model Extreme 55B has an interesting and unique story to it. What we have found along the way is that many artists are looking for the 5B profile, but with a thicker shaft and at the longer length. There is no 55B. We have a model 
that already fits those specifications. We call that model Rod Morgenstein. The 85A is a model that has often been asked for as well to be added to the Extreme Series. Once again, that's a model that already has specifications within our catalog and it is within the model signature Stanton Moore. Discussion of all these models is the exact reason why our stick selection guide featured in our catalog and our website was developed. It's the perfect tool to navigate all of our sticks for length, thickness, tip shape, and all the other important elements necessary in choosing the perfect model for your playing. The Extreme Series, featuring our most popular American Classic Series models with added length for the player looking for added leverage. For over 30 years, the Vic Firth American Classic Series of drumsticks have been some of the most popular models in the world. And yet, as popular as they have been, we've had countless artists ask for longer versions of some of our more popular models. Having taken those suggestions into consideration, we began exploring the possibilities of a series of sticks that would be a bit longer than a traditional drumstick, hence the development of the Extreme Series from Vic Firth. Each of these Extreme models feature an added half inch in the length. And what that does for the player is add, obviously, length for reach. And <laughs> Thank you.
spiritual. <laughs> Highly spiritual. <laughs> Highly spiritual. Yeah. Highly spiritual. <laughs> hey, boys are bad. Hmm. This is, by the way, um, someone just asked, please, can, can we get the tracks you've played? <laughs> and someone replied, download it on iTunes. <laughs> 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 you can use audacity to remove the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> audacity. <laughs> Savage, man. Hey. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's Sanadia, dear Dabi Dabi. The funeral eh? Eh? main lines in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Palo, God bless you, man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, I'm so honored to have all of you guys watching us. Um, Frederick. That you more, God bless you so much. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frederick, my senior. Yeah. Wow, who again? Who again? Samotete from Togo. Afu, my phone number. Yeah, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy. Wow. Um, okay. Wow. I joined team. God bless you. Wow. I know you like it. You're enjoying Oh, Nanayao, can you ask? Um, Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, happy birthday to you, Ofori Frimpong. Hey. Oh, boss. Hey. Shout out Sound to you. Wizard. Happy Sound, Sound birthday, wizard. boss. Hey. Sound wizard. Wow. Sound wizard. <laughs> Sound wizard. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. God bless so much, my brother. I miss you already. God bless so much. And someone is, 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 is asking, do you, do you listen to Afred's um, productions, Princeena? Of course, I, I, uh, production. I, I, listen, I listen to songs it's played. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic. See, we're going to have all these guys here. So please, we're going to have a session for viewers. You select the people that you want them to come and we'll bring them here. You know. Sticks. So someone is asking, what sticks are you using? Uh, I'm using a VicFX 7A. But 5A is my preference, though. Hand technique. Oh, Charlie, you guys cool down. Eh? Yeah, hand technique here. Yeah. You guys <laughs> cool a, down. That's a whole, like, that's a whole thing. <laughs> on, on if you see own. me for some lessons, private <laughs> lessons. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Alfred, watching you guys from Maryland, US. God bless you guys. God bless so much, Alfred. Wow. Okay, so how do you react when you are not in the mood, in bad mood? How do you react in the bad mood for production? As as instrumentalists, you you approaching the gig, you have an issue. And and how do you people like handle yourself? Because I remember, I, he, he, yeah. my mouth. <laughs> yeah, for, if if I'm not in the the right of mood, uh, I'm not going to touch the music at that time. I'm going to wait till I I I'm okay with whatever. I mean, I'm battling with at the time. And. I know that the the production might have a timeline. I, I might not have like a month to cool down <laughs> from whatever. I mean, if I know it's a problem that I can solve with a phone call or just talking it out with the person, I will prefer to do that before I I go back to just to make sure that I've dealt with that. So, what if it's a live performance? Also, what would you do? I think for live performances, there are no excuses. I mean, if you were a banker and <laughs> and you had to attend to <laughs> clients yeah. at the office, you, your mood doesn't count. I mean, for live, unfortunately, for live, uh, uh, for live events, you, you can't really, you, we, we don't care about your mood, you know. We don't care. But you does it affect the music? Like, a live yeah, production? Yeah, yeah, to, 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 to an extent. Some, some, uh, some people can actually detect if you are not in the right of mood by the way you're playing. Mm. Yeah. I mean, people who know the way you play for a, a time. Yeah, they can't can tell, tell that. Yeah. So I know a brother, when he's not in the mood, he uses only one finger on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> other one is going to rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But, but, but like I said, we can't, but we can't have that yeah, in life. Yeah. yeah, I think you should also try to find a balance. You shouldn't let what is wrong with you personally affect so a group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for instance, I mean, somebody is spe spending so much on a project. And you can't let the something that you're going through personally affect to affect you. the whole. I, I think you should think about that as well. You can't affect the whole project just because of something you're going through. Mm. You should find a way of 
so yeah, how do that. you deal with issues like that? Like if you have a bad day, you are not yourself. Then the first song is a jam song, like an intro that demands you. <laughs> and you, you, you know, how do you deal with stuff? Because I know some people like Charlie in your match. Like how how do you overcome? <laughs> yeah, I think if it's something you do all the time, you you find a way to 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 handle it yourself. A way of forgetting what is happening around you and being there at that moment when you're needed. It's not easy, though. It's not easy. It's not easy, man. Yeah. Especially in the live in the live context. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not easy. It's not easy. You, you have to. I mean. Yeah, I like this question. Someone is asking, how uh, do you react when you hear people comparing you with others? That is something I don't encourage at all. I mean, I, I try not to encourage conversations. I don't think... I, I think everyone is unique. I don't believe in someone is better than someone, that kind of no, discussion. There it's are not, preferences, but the It's not something I encourage. Yeah. It's not, it's, not, it's not something I encourage at all. Wow. Hmm, the questions are coming. Hey, you guys... Please, we've, we've, we've run past our time. Oh, so, people... <laughs> Um, 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 uh, let me read this one. <laughs> hey, um, I think before we, we go, before we go, something on Groove, I think, will, will help a lot of viewers. Something on, on, okay. on, um. on, 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 on Groove. How do people? Lock it, lock each other when it comes to groove and all that. To me, right? Yeah, um, to you first. Okay, so um, my my mom once asked me, like, I hear you people say groove all the time. What, what does it mean? I mean, she's not a musician, so this is the way I explained it to her. I said that thing in the music that makes you want to tap your feet or wants you to like makes you want to nod your head or makes you want to dance that thing that thing that you you can't put your finger to that is doing all that magic makes you go like that you know that is what groove is about yeah so when i am approaching Charlie trying to say that that gamma lizard know how to groove <laughs> 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 that's it that is groove from nature eh? that is groove from nature there's oh, there's something in that song that that makes you want to move to the dance floor and dance. Sure, 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 mm. sure. So that's that's the simple e explanation I gave to you. Now, what you are doing is that when you approach, especially in a recording setting, you are trying to find a way to team up with all the elements in the song to bring out that feel. Mm -hmm. Trying to work with the drama. I mean trying to take advantage of little spaces, trying to... The most, the most important part in grooving is um, having a pattern, having a repetitive pattern. Nobody wants to listen to music and like, okay, the first eight bars is in 4-4, four, four, and, the, and the, the next eight is in six, and then you are like playing with the amount. So it has to be repetitive over a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, so... Those and uh, I mean there are many <laughs> there are many things to consider when you are yeah. you are, you are simplicity counts simplicity doesn't mean you should there's also the problem of um, underplaying mm. all the time we talk about overplaying but <laughs> sometimes you can also underplay you know certain but songs demand certain stuff you and know, you need to give it you need that. to yeah you know so you don't want, you don't want to be at the bottom you don't want to be at the top you just want to like rise there. Right there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's very painful that we are alive. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but, but the, going going back to the groove, mm -hmm. I think for me is the 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 feel, the the thing in the music that is moving you. So, from probably the drumming perspective or from my perspective, there are some ingredients that make up the groove that will cause something to to be groovy for the drama your time 
having a good time, a good sense of time. Any any musician or not just drum, any musician <laughs> who has a good <laughs> sense of time plays stuff that are really groovy. So you you need to have that good sense of time. And not time alone. Uh you need to have dynamics. Mm. Yeah. You need to have dynamics. Then it comes to the sound, how you sound behind the instrument can affect Ooh. the groove. If you have a bad sound behind the instrument. You know, the same drum, I, c- I could let somebody play, but because it's not hitting the right places and creating that right balance, mm. probably your kick is too loud when you're playing, then your levels compared to the other stuff is, is going to make you not sound that good. Mm. But but um, let me use this this time to um, to congratulate you once again. Um, I've 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 known you um, way back, Sandy Stars. Archives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Most of you don't know about Sandy Stars. Uh, right. Wow, I've known you way back those days, and you've you yeah. kept on um, improving yourself to the level that you are, and you are still humble. And I know for VGMA awarding you, um, um, it's just um, um, an adapt to the personality that you are. And and for me, as a not just as a sound engineer, but as a friend, I really admire how you carry yourself and how you comport yourself, how you relate to people and all that. And if you see, God bless you so much for the inspiration that you've been to all the young ones and those of you of us that look up to you in terms of music and doing this as as a full time job and being dedicated and and mm-hmm. and also full time <laughs> and 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 for me as a brother I don't envy your success. I I it's 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 it's, it's hard work that that's brought you fine. The grace also that's also also upon your life because we have a lot of people that are playing, you understand? But there's one thing that that also shines on you is the grace of God. That's one thing we also we all need to pray for because at the end of the day, you said something yesterday. What yeah. comes to someone's mind for your name to be mentioned? Oh, can we call Prince to play the bass on the, this track? Yes. It is God given grace, divine, that divine, divine grace that makes yeah. your name being called in the in the minds of people. And mm-hmm. I I really appreciate you and how you go about doing stuff in, in mm-hmm. Ghana here you can say that oh we have great drummers here, then your name will be mentioned as one of the best that we have in the country. Shout out to all the other amazing drummers yeah, that we have. Yeah, fantastic drummers. Fantastic drummers. And they, everybody's improving and all that. Some, some, everybody's doing something good and something original. And I, we really appreciate you for all that you've, you've, you've done for Ghana music and gospel music and, and, and to as large. God bless you so much, Emmanuel. God bless you. Me, me. Uh, on this day, I donate this stick. <laughs> to you. I donate this stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so any advice for the youth, the young ones coming up, and some, some of the, I, I can tell that you see yourself in some of them, how they are starting and yeah. all that. Any advice to the young musicians that are coming and that trying to pursue this as, as, as a full time worker? You know, any advice to them? Okay, uh, I think what I would say is. Um, first of all, you should realize that uh, what, whatever gift you have is is from God, mm. right? If if God has endowed you with the gift of music, and He has entrusted that into you, He expects He expects you to develop it to a point. The development of the gift is is on you. He has given you the gift. It's your responsibility to develop it mm. and to to learn to improve yourself. And even as you do that, you should you should keep a, a humble spirit and a teachable spirit as well. Because uh, I mean, I I pick up stuff from a lot of guys. I pick up stuff from a lot of guys, and I had lessons with a lot of guys. And 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 whilst doing that, my my intention was not to play better than them. Hmm. My intention was to to better myself, 
not in comparison with the person, but to be better than I, I was when I met the person or whoever was teaching me at that point. Great. Right. So you, you should try to be the best you, not in comparison with somebody, hmm. but be the best you can be. There's a capacity you have that God has given you. So make sure you be the best that you can be, not being better than somebody. Because once that person stops developing himself, it means you're you also stuck. Your comparison is with that person. Hmm. So keep developing yourself. Keep getting better. I mean, I always go back, listen to old stuff I've done. And compared to new stuff I'm doing. And just to make sure that I'm not stuck at where I am and I need to keep on learning. Wow. Great stuff out there. I'm, uh, <laughs> developing yourself, bettering yourself. And Prince, um, I'm, I'm amazed by by your achievements in life. But 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 let's put all let let put all you aside. For instance, um, at your age, and and the kind of level. <laughs> no, let's not go there. Let, let's not go there. Let's stay there. Okay. Yeah, let's stay there. Eighteen. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, you know, you know, in music, um, um, you need to get to a certain age for you to be playing certain things. You understand? But um, the first time I met you, you were, yeah, the, the, I heard you were different. I'm like, ah, Charlie, which guy is this? Yeah. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> yeah. But you know, you've played with me before, yeah, so yeah, I know, I know from the first art- artist. Yeah. yeah, yeah, guys, you, you guys all know the story. <laughs> I can mention my first band. <laughs> <laughs> Him, Alfred, we are feeling the light man. Or <laughs> listen well. <laughs> Three man band. <laughs> you have no idea. We'll come back again. We'll be sorry that band. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you are very, very influential. And, mm. yeah, I'm telling you, you are very, very influential. Mm. And, and, and a lot of young guys are looking up to you. Oh, Prince, 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 Prince. And yet still, you are able to mingle with people as, as how, how you are and all that. And, and I really appreciate what you're doing. God bless you so much, my brother. God bless you so much. And out of this, the favor of the Lord also is upon the two of you also. You understand? And, yeah. and God bless you so much, Prince. And, and on this day also, I want you... And like any advice for the young ones that you see them, that they're trying their best to get themselves to a certain level and all that, what is your advice for them also? Okay, so I'm going to look at it this way. Um, there's something I call the the three P's. Mm. Pray, practice, and play. Okay. So I'm taking it again. Pray, practice, and play. Pray because your gift is not of this earth. It's divine. Mm. Mm. Your source is not here. It's divine. So you need to, I mean, sharpen, be in close contact with that source. That's why you have to pray. Practice because, like Ludo said earlier, you have to develop the skill. It's given to you in that raw form. You have to develop it. You have to try to become a better version of yourself. And then play. I mean, like, how do I even <laughs> explain that? Play. I mean, the, the, the more you play, the, the better, better you become. Yeah. yeah. So just play. I mean, for me, that is, that is it. I mean, in the music context, pray practice and play the three P's for me. Hmm. Prayer is very, very important. And it's one practice, practice all over the world. Any religion at all that you find yourself in, there's one common thing that we do is prayer. And if and you don't practice prayer, it's, 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 it's some way. Please take this advice from these great guys. And uh, we, they'll, they'll give us one song before we wrap, we wrap up. Next week's going to be amazing, though, next week. We're going to come back again. And so uh, uh, the programs, I won't tell you, but some of them are surprise packages and all that. But hey, God bless Divine Media um, for the nice, um, um, persuading um, um, visuals. It's very catchy. You, you can't just go off your phone. You go, you come back again. <laughs> I know you go to other places. You go and watch, ah, my man, she didn't. You come back again. <laughs> you understand. And, and I like... I like um, all the people that are here supporting us. God bless you so much for your time. And listen, let's be real. 
it pays a lot. Let's 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 be real. And we're gonna have a, a song from you before we 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 close the We run uh, out of songs. Listen. Okay. We'll the I am that I am. That made who you we are. are God alone, or? <laughs> He's God alone. <laughs> All by himself. <laughs> if you have that one. The, the I, I tend to you. You have it. It's on, it will be on there. The new one, eh? Okay. okay. Let's just play. We've done For those who did not. Okay, let, 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 let's start with the first song again, also. Because, listen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> for those who missed that one, I mean. What's in me? I don't mind playing What's in again. It's one of my favorite songs. We could do. We could play something local. All right, restart the selector, DJ. <laughs> but some of you, the way you are using the max, like we all, we have Corona here. Oh, Charlie, you guys, you both should see what is happening right behind the scenes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All
Wow. Wow, I wish I'm a pastor of a ministry. Sorry. Here's how come. Hi, God's people. This is a time to have an encounter with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> wow, great, 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 great work for my brothers. God bless you so much for tuning in to the live room with Jonathan Kakraba, powered by Divine Media, His Way Music, powered and produced by Virtual Sound Lab. And look, this time you are doing your live streaming at home and all that. Work to Virtual Sound. Get your gears for live streaming. The lapel mic that we are using, short microphones, amazing. You can hear everything. Crips and clear. You understand? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You are blessed beyond your imagination. Keep doing well. Keep doing good. God loves you. I love you. It's a day. God bless you. Mwah. Hi. <laughs> I love you. God loves you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh.